What's up everyone? My name is Sin Blackblade and welcome back to Vlog Part 2 of our Marauder um, Infernal Blow build. Now, uh, we have progressed uh, quite well uh, with, with our build and as you can see in the video above, I have begun to uh, kill Cole and you know, uh, since this is only the uh, cruel difficulty, um, yeah, he wasn't really that hard and yeah, I, I really didn't, you know, um, need to go back to town to refill my flasks. Although I did consume uh, every little drop of, uh, you know, life and mana flasks. But, you know, um, aside from that, you know, um, he wasn't able to kill me. And, you know, I was able to beat him at about, uh, give or take, 30 seconds or less. So, yeah, uh, nothing much to say about that. And uh, he, w he wasn't that hard, and but he wasn't that easy either. And, of course, uh, as you can see in the video above, uh, I have began to... Um, uh, kill piety uh, when it came to piety, you know uh, since uh, again, this is only the cruel difficulty uh, uh, Her damage uh, wasn't really uh, that much, you know, she wasn't really dealing uh, that much of a damage uh, Yeah, um, I there wasn't really uh, a point here wherein I uh, really needed to get back to town uh, even though she had that uh, very dangerous ice uh, or uh, cold damage form yeah um, so I was able to beat her at about uh, one minute or so and yeah so she didn't really uh, pose that much of a uh, threat to our build and you know uh, she was quite easy actually. And then of course we get to Dominus. Now uh, I was really surprised actually uh, with this uh, with this build as you know as you can see there uh, I went ahead and went um, in the middle of the pack you know I was just testing but yeah, um, all, all those three uh, unique uh, bosses that, you know, those first three unique bosses that uh, you encounter when you get to Dominus, uh, they really didn't, uh, you know, pose that much of a problem. You know, as you can see there, uh, I went right in the middle of uh, all three of them and, you know, I was surprised that I didn't die. And, uh, yeah, uh, so with those uh, next three set of um, uh, unique... Uh, what, do you call, what do you call this? Uh, unique uh, monsters. Yeah, uh, they didn't really also uh, pose that much of a threat. And uh, when it came to uh, Dominus himself, um, you know, I almost died, but you know, thankfully I didn't. And yeah, uh, when it came to Dominus, you know, I didn't really uh, go back to town to refill my flasks. Although I did try to play a little bit defensively by um, by dodging some of his. Uh, attack, especially that you know, uh, lightning thing that 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 uh, that he uh, that he fires, which is you know, um, which which does a lot of damage. Now, when it came to his second form, uh, at this point, you know, I I still haven't gone back to town. As you can see, almost all of my flasks are are empty. Uh, yeah, but you know, I I I, I said to myself that. I think I could thank him, you know, all the way, even though I was running out of mana. Uh, it's a good thing that I have uh, a little bit of um, mana regeneration and, you know, I was able to tank almost all of his damage. Uh, his minions wasn't, you know, uh, really that hard or posed any much of a threat. And, you know, in the end, you know, I was able to beat him with uh, almost zero mana and almost zero life. Uh, and of course, uh, with that said, let's get into our build progression. Okay, so let's get into our skill tree right here. So yeah, uh, we have progressed a lot since uh, our, our last vlog. And yeah, so I have taken the iron reflexes over here. I did take uh, um, some more uh, plus 32 intelligence uh, nodes over here. And then I began uh, to take all of these uh, life nodes over here. You know, you really have to take note about uh, thick skin because, you know, for one point you are getting 18% uh, increased maximum life. So if you're, if you're a duelist or you're, you're, you're a, um, what do you call this? You're a ranger or you're a shadow and you're, you happen to uh, go uh, up, up on this path, you know, make sure that you um, make sure that you get thick skin. And of course, uh, I've gotten the uh, this four very very uh, powerful um, damage nodes uh, simply because that you know for four points there you are getting 10% uh, increased uh, physical damage and then another 10% over here and then here you're getting 6% uh, damage and plus 2% att attack speed and on the last you are getting a 15%. Um, physical damage and, ten, and then 10% increased attack speed. So this is, uh, if you're doing a, um, a two-handed melee build, you know, uh, uh, whatever it is, you know, you, you really, really uh, should take these four nodes into consideration. 
And yeah, and I've also gotten the uh, finesse right here, uh, simply because you know uh, my my accuracy rating was uh, is really really you know it's it's kind of shabby. So I just really wanted that plus twenty percent increased accuracy rating. The uh, increased attack speed is a bonus, and of course the plus twenty to dexterity is also a uh, a given bonus. Now I'm working my way uh, up here to get some more uh, increased mana, and of course getting the primal primal spirit uh, to get that. 20% increased mana regeneration rate and that 20% increased mana recovery from flasks wait let me scratch that uh, you know I don't really care about that uh, recovery from uh, flasks but you know you get a plus 20 uh, strength over there and plus 20 intelligence which would really really uh, help you a lot if you if you know um, if you don't have that much of an, uh, of an intelligence this will give you a uh, plus 20 to it yeah, and you know, I, I think I'm not going to go up and uh, get the uh, blaze over here because uh, by the time that I go up here, I think I'm going to be at around level 75 or I may not be able to get this. It's just too far, you know, it's just uh, it's just too much of a node. Uh, what I mean is uh, it's, it's just too much of a number of nodes just to be able to get to that. And you know, I don't really think that um, it's going to be worth it. But, you know, I'm still gonna take the, these life notes over here because, you know, they're just one point away. I mean, they're just uh, one point away. But then, um, the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna go and get the Berserking. So I'm gonna go uh, up over here and then get the um, Berserking uh, skill node over here. And then, of course, I'm going to get the these, you know, as much as possible, all of these life nodes. As you can see, there are a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that's 10 times 8%. Uh, so that's 80% uh, increased maximum life, which, you know, I never really gave a uh, thought about during, you know, when I was making um, uh, the dual shadow class or the uh, ranger barrage or any other builds that I was, uh, that I was you know, um, uh, working on. You know, I never really actually uh, gave much thought of these. Uh, uh, you know, specific no, uh, life nodes over here. But now that I, I, I do, you know, I think that I will take these because you know, eighty percent is a lot. <laughs> you can just imagine how much life you'd have, you know, when you reach the end game. And of course, I'd probably get this because of the uh, additional twelve, twelve percent uh, physical damage. And then you get uh, another plus twenty to your maximum life and another plus twenty to your strength. So that's uh, more damage and some additional life for one node. And then, of course, if we you know, if we still progress further, uh, this is also one notable node, which is only one point away, which is butchery. Um, it gives you an additional uh, plus twenty percent increased physical damage with you know, um, with all of your two-handed uh, weapons, and of course, giving you an additional uh, plus twenty to strength. So that's more damage right there. And uh, yeah, I think this one is good too because you know. 10% damage, you know, it's multiplicative, so uh, that would increase your uh, damage, well, not by a long shot or not by a lot, but, you know, some. And then, of course, I think I'm going to get also this one and this one because 12% uh, and plus 15%, uh, you know, for just two nodes uh, is really, really worth it. And, you know, adding to that, you get a plus 12 to your maximum life. All right, so that's about it, I guess. Oh, and I forgot that I think... Oh my god, that is the phone. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I, I forgot to uh, mention the... Where is it? Oh yeah, uh, the elemental adaptation. Because, you know, uh, adding, you know, plus 2% to your... Uh, to the three, you know, um, elemental resistances, I think will be a really, really good move uh, to take. Uh, since, because, you know, it's just here. Uh, it, it's just four points away. If we start off from strength over here, and then over here, over here, and then over here. So it's just four points. So I think it's a really, really uh, excellent node to take, um, defensively speaking. Uh, yeah, and so what else? Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'm not, uh, as always, you know, um, the, uh, these plans might change, you know. Uh, it, it really depends on uh, the situation on uh, where I am in. So, uh, enough about that. Let's get into our gear. Now, uh, for my weapon, I'm using this uh, Void Home. Although uh, it has a 31% uh, uh, reduced rarity of items found and a 50% uh, reduced experience gain, the amount of attack speed that you gain, uh, you know, with this weapon is just insane. As you can see, the attacks per second is 1.80, and you know he attacks so fast. And you know I've been uh, I've been mowing down mobs, you know, really really uh, fast with this weapon. 
but you know the the the, the choice of weapon will you know will still be up to you it's just that for me you know uh, i think this is uh, this is the best and of course for my helm uh, you guys already know this you know uh, a lot of life uh, two resistances and so with my armor and so with my gloves you know life and resistances you know you really uh, you really have to take that into uh, consideration when you're uh, gearing up uh, especially if you're melee if you're melee build you know you really need life you know as high as possible and you need at least two resistances on that gear if you can push it to three then that is good and yeah and so with my uh, boots it's still the same uh the the belt is uh, of course still the same and yeah uh this uh this ring is still the same i think i mentioned it although the other ring you know i've, I've decided to uh change that into this one uh, because aside from getting um a plus 67 to evasion rating we are getting a seven uh, plus 76 percent to our maximum life a 4.7 life regeneration per second at uh, plus 26 to mana and plus 14 to uh, 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 <laughs> and plus 14 to all uh, elemental resistances and you know um plus six to, uh, to uh, increase elemental i uh, know increase lightning damage what is going on with me and uh plus 23 percent to lightning resistance so this is a very good ring i apologize for that guys uh, i don't know you know i i find it really you know sometimes i find it really hard to talk when there's just a lot of stuff you know in my head that i want to say and you know i want to say them all but they they are just you know garbled up i don't know see it's really hard to explain yeah and uh, as far as my amulet goes you know i haven't really uh, changed it yet because if i remove that you know i won't be able to use uh, one part of my gear uh, although that will be mitigated uh, as soon as I get the uh, hard knocks over here, which gives me a uh, plus 32 intelligence. All right, so I think I've said enough. Uh, no, uh, wait a minute. Uh, so my current level is at 76, and our damage is currently at uh, 3,207 3, with our uh, fire damage uh, dealing 571. Uh, as far as charges goes, we have uh, four endurance charges, and as far as defense goes, we have an armor of. Um, hold on. Uh, hold on, let me activate my... Um, so, yeah, I, I've, uh, I already have two auras. One is Clarity and the other one is Grace. If I activate Grace, our armor uh, bumps up to 3,187. And our fire resistance is already capped. We are not doing good with uh, cold resistance because it's, on, it's only at 66%. Uh, so we are just lacking there uh, a couple of more per percentage to, you know, uh, to cap. And uh, lightning resistance is already capped, and we are not doing good with uh, the chaos resistance. Now, uh, I forgot to mention my gems. Uh, uh, what, what is attached to uh, Infernal Blow is uh, added fire damage, multi strikes, melee splash, and fire penetration. And uh, what is attached to my clarity is, of course, a reduced mana, blood magic, and uh, the leap slam. You know, a leap slam is not really um, necessarily like my, my main attack. I just use this, you know, to get into um, places uh, really, really fast without going around you know with um uh, for example if you have two ledge uh, uh, an elevated platform here and you know you still have to go around uh the leap slam is just uh, there for convenience sake for just you know leaping on top of it yeah and uh what else so i have grace with uh, reduced mana you know i'm hoping to get uh two auras uh another one would be probably the attack speed one uh what do you call this uh hatred i think and yeah, uh, but that still rem remains to be seen because uh, our mana cost is at 57. Very, very costly. It's very, very hard. I, I still find it, you know, very, very hard to manage my mana. So that's why I'm still only using one. But uh, I believe that when I get into further levels, you know, I will be able to use um, more or another uh, another aura. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, what's, in what's attached to my uh, CWDT is uh, Molten Shell, uh, Flammability, and Enduring Cry. And then I, I still have, you know, another CWDT, and what's attached there is another Flammability, uh, Molten Shell, and Enduring Cry. If you're wondering why I have two curses of the same thing, uh, that is, of course, uh, we all know that um, uh, molten sh uh, how CWDT uh, works is that... Um, 
once you get hit, the very first uh, thing that it will uh, cast is, of course, the very first uh, skill gem. And then afterwards, it's going to cast the other one, Molten Shell, and then it's going to uh, uh, cast the Enduring Cry. Why, while it's, you know, while it's um, activating uh, Molten Shell and Enduring Cry, uh, I want it to activate another flame ability, you know, for uh, those mobs that are just coming in, you know, for example, from your back. It's like if you, uh, if you cast, if the CWDT casts uh, flame ability, uh, on the mobs in front of you, the other flame ability will cast the. Uh, I, I mean, the other CWDT will cast the flame ability on the monsters uh, coming from behind you or from the side. So it it, it, it kind of works in uh, in a circular rotation way. All right. So I think I have discussed enough. This video this video is getting too long. Let us get into some gameplay. You know, I'm really, really. Oh, good, unique. Uh, you know, I'm really, really um, enjoying this build be uh, for the fact that um, with a couple of hits, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of mobs just explode, you know, and, and, it's, re and it's really, really fun to play. Yeah, okay, we, we gotta level up there. And we gotta level up another one, alright. So yeah, as you can see, you know, we are attacking really, really fast and we are downing uh, mobs uh, quite well. And, oh, and I forgot that we are already on the uh, Merciless difficulty. And uh, yeah, so on the next video, I'd probably um, make it so that... Uh, what I mean is, uh, on the next video, I'm going to uh, kill uh, Mervil and uh, Brutus. So see, uh, we're doing pretty well. I love it. You know, the, uh, you guys should definitely uh, try this build out. It's really, really fun. See, uh, let's try to get a group of mobs here. All right, this is a good example. Oh no, they they're running away. Uh, I wish we could get that uh, really, really specific, you know, large group of mobs, uh, which are on a what do you call this? Kind of like that shrine thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right. So see, uh, with just a couple of hits, uh, all of those. Um, our monsters just died. So I think that's going to do it for me guys. See, it's so much fun. Uh, yeah, so that's about it for me guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm going to see you guys on the next one in my video. Have a good one.